Hello, welcome to Agile in a Nutshell. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. This week, we're going to explore one of the greatest weapons in our arsenal for setting expectations about the state of your project, the burndown. Here, we will review what the burndown is, what valuable information it can give us, and the important role it plays in helping us communicate the state of our project. Now, in a nutshell, the burndown is a chart that shows how quickly you and your team are burning through your customer stories. It shows the total effort against the amount of work we deliver each iteration. Something like this. We can see the total effort on the left, our team velocity on the right, but look at what else this great graph can give us. It shows work done each iteration, work remaining, work done so far, and when we can expect it to be done. All of this from one graph. Now, this is an ideal burndown. In practice, our burndowns look a lot more like this. They're never straight lines. The team never moves at exactly one fixed velocity, and we discover things along the way. Burndowns are awesome though, not just for the numbers they bring us, but also for they help us tell the story behind the numbers. You'll see where the scope crew comes in. You'll see where the requirements change, the loss of a valuable team member, holidays, big team innovations, too many bugs, not enough refactoring, major design changes, floods and natural disasters like the one that occurred June 20th, 2013 in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, where this occurred. And of course, like all things in Agile, you're free to take this and make it your own. One tweak I like to do is to take the burn down and display total work done each iteration. That's what you see in the red here. This lets me look at the chart and immediately get a sense of whether I'm a quarter, a third, or halfway through the project. Now, why is this all so great? It's one of the best expectation setting tools I know for an Agile project. I use it for every iteration planning meeting. It helps me create status uh, project status reports. And I just love it because it makes the state of the project clear. It helps with the delivery of bad news because it makes it so obvious. It tells me if there's something wrong in a visual, easy to understand way. And I mostly love it because it gets rid of all the wishful thinking on our project. There is no guessing here. It's all empirical measured data. So if your project needs to make a change, this graph can help you bring that change about. So that's it for the burndown. I hope you get as much use out of it as I do. Check the show notes. I'll include a starter burn down there that you can use on your own projects. Feel free to take that and make it your own. That's all for now. Till next time. Bye-bye.